back to my channel. Today I have some leftover couscous that I need to use up and I was trying to think of what to do with it because it's not that much. Um, it's enough for one person but not really enough for two or more so <clears throat> I figured I would make a salad. Whenever you have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that it's either going to be a soup or a salad just because it's really easy to throw things together. So let me show you what I'm going to be using for this tonight. Okay, so I would say I have about mm, maybe three quarters of a cup of cooked couscous and I have like a little more than half of an orange bell pepper, one jalapeno, a handful of grape tomatoes, a couple of uh, scallion or green onion, cucumber, some romaine lettuce that I need to use up, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be using some white anchovy as my protein and, you know, if you don't like anchovy, it's really good. Um, I'm trying to think like what you can do to make it more suitable for your palate if you don't like it, but you can always substitute, you know, tuna, maybe canned salmon or fresh salmon or even just like an egg if you really are not into fish and if you're not into eggs then maybe just keep it as a meatless type of salad. <clears throat> I'm also going to be adding some fresh parsley and cilantro and my dressing is going to be white wine vinegar and some lemon juice along with some extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay, so I've rearranged things a little bit just so that it would be a little bit easier to, for me to navigate, but I'm just going to use the same dish as my couscous was in to kind of prep this part. So I'm going to take my tomatoes and just kind of roughly chop them. Um, they don't have to be that, you know, like perfect, but I do want them in smaller pieces. And then once I have the tomatoes cut up, I moving on to my jalapeno. I basically sliced it into thin slices, and then I'm just going to be dicing it into small pieces. And this is also going to get combined in that dish. I take the seeds out. If you want to leave the seeds in, go ahead. But um, I take them out. And then same thing with my scallion is already washed, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice it. And I slice the whole thing. These are really thin and pretty tender, so I'm not, you know, I'm not going to waste it. And basically what I'm preparing right now is going to be the topping or the dressing for my greens and I'm using all of this as part of it. I just hope I don't run out of room because I do need to mix this up. I like a salad dressing to be a little bit more on the acidic side. Um, so. I use a little bit more vinegar or a little less olive oil, however you want to, you know, make sense out of it. Um, I am going to put uh, black pepper. And some salt. And then my vinegar. And olive oil and then I'm gonna mix this and set it aside while I prep everything else for the salad but it's not gonna take too long I do just want it to kind of <clears throat> marinate a little bit and let the flavor kind of come together as you will And of course, like, just kind of test it. 
Okay, and then basically you want to prep the rest of your vegetables. So with my cucumber, I'm just slicing it um, on the thin side. And you can use as much or as little as you want. This is not a recipe. I'm just kind of showing you something that I would do, especially during the summer when it's really just, it's too hot to cook. Um, but tonight I just, it's not that I don't want to cook. It's just there are things that I need to use from the fridge. Okay. Oh. My peppers, I'm just gonna pop them. And I've already roughly chopped my herbs. And normally when I am prepping vegetables like this, I usually snacking at the same time. Okay. So now I'm just going to do some assembling. Okay, so I have my plate, and I've already washed my lettuce. What I'm gonna do, now you can slice it, you can chop it. I'm not going to, because I just don't want to. Um, sometimes I like when the leaves are whole. Kinda depends, you know, on the salad that I'm making, but more or less, <clears throat> I do think this, looks very pretty at the end, so I like doing it like this. And you could just kind of arrange, you know, your vegetables. Um, I think I cut a lot, but oh well. I know a lot of times people comment that I make things look really pretty. So, you know, that's just me. If I have the time, I will. If I don't, obviously I won't. But I I do enjoy the, the process of preparing. And if I want to sit and enjoy something, I do want to make it look nice. So that's just me. But... Some people don't care. And then I'm going to, gosh, this is a lot. Um, I always think I'm not gonna have leftovers and then I don't know. Basically put it in the middle. Um, now to this, you can actually add a, just like a little bit more salt, not like especially on the cucumber, I kind of like just a, lo a little bit. And now with the anchovy, I, I do like to kind of dry them off, which I should have done a little bit earlier just so that they were kind of ready. <clears throat> and yeah, this is one serving, so I really don't want leftovers. I don't know. Someone's going to have to come and help me, but... <clears throat> Just for purposes of presentation, right? Um, then you could just kind of lay them on top. Now to anchovy, I always like to add lemon and pepper. Same thing with sardines. And I love sardines too, just with like a piece of bread. And um, that's... 
that's another lunch, but I don't put any salt on the anchovies, obviously they are salty enough, but I do like to do the pepper. And lemon and then with the lemon you can actually like also just kind of go all the way around and then I top it with the chopped herbs so you can't quite you know things get a bit covered but you get the idea and, and this is dinner which was super quick to put together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, um, not quite recipe, but just kind of my method for using up some leftovers. Uh, if you do have pantry items such as fish, um, so you can find smoked mackerel, smoked oysters, you know, anchovies, sardines, anything like that, even tuna. It's really easy to put together something last minute, um, and it's really delicious. And the white anchovies, they are not salty like the anchovy filet that you would get for pizza, the one that's, it's also, it comes in oil, but it's not like that at all. It's a little bit on the brinier side, um, much closer to what sardines are like. And if you haven't tried them, you know, just, Give it a shot. See how you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.